Hi everyone, I'm Philip Okoche, Northern Cyber Sky. Today we're going to discuss the essential topic in the real estate world. The 72 hour clause in the OTP, so let's dive right to it. The 72 hour clause is a handy tool for both home buyers and sellers in a specific situation. It comes into place when a seller receives an OTP but has already received the offer from a purchaser but is subject to certain conditions. Imagine this scenario. You are a seller who accepts an offer but the offer is subject to the purchaser selling his current home. You are a bit hesitant to approve the offer because you are scared the purchaser can buy while ready to make a firm offer. Here is where the 72 hour clause becomes useful. The seller can continue marketing the property even after accepting the initial offer. If another buyer can pass, the seller can trigger the 72 hour clause. The clock starts ticking. The purchaser has made the initial offer has 72 hours to remove all contingencies or make a firm offer. If they don't act within the time frame, the seller can approve the second offer and move forward. Now, you might be wondering, why would the purchaser agree to this clause? Well, this allows the purchaser to search for their dream home, even though they must still sell their current home. It puts a bit of pressure on the purchaser, but at least they have a fair chance against all the purchasers in the market. And there you have it, the 72 hour clause explained. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time.